Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a series of videos that I'm doing about using uh, AI in Unreal. Um, and in this video, we're going to start a rolling example, which is going to last over the next few videos. Uh, so just uh, to quickly introduce where we're at, I've got a third-person template map. I've set up a, a character that can be used by an AI controller. Um, so the assets there, I've got a AI controller, which hasn't got very much in it, apart from it kicks off this behavior tree. Uh, I've got the behavior tree, and there's nothing in it. I've emptied that out after last time. Um, and we've just got a task that's sitting around that we were using last time for testing purposes. Okay, so the next thing to do is to introduce you to uh, the scenario of uh, the AI that we're going to try and achieve. So the AI character is going to stand on the spot, and if it can't see the player, it'll keep turning around looking in random directions. So every few seconds, it will turn and face in a different direction looking for the player. If the AI character catches sight of the player, it will stare at them. So as the player moves around, the AI character will rotate on the spot, uh, but keep facing the player as if it's watching them carefully. Once the AI character has had sight of the player, and if they then lose sight of the player, so if the player goes around a corner or something, uh, the AI character will then move to the last known location of the player. So it'll go to where it last saw the player. And then once it gets there, it goes back to looking round if it can't see the player, or if it does catch sight of the player, it'll revert to the staring. So uh, that then starts the cycle once again. If it loses sight of the, of the player again, then uh, it will again move to the last known location of the player. So the point of this scenario isn't just to give you a step-by-step -step instruction that will get you to this particular uh, AI behavior. It's to actually show all the different elements, or certainly most of the elements, that uh, make up AI uh, in Unreal. Uh, so we're going to introduce them one at a time. And in this particular video, we're going to look at a thing called the blackboard. Um, so um, in the behavior that uh, we just described, uh, certainly at the first part, before it loses sight of the player, the behavior is different depending on whether the AI can see the player or whether it can't. And so it would be very useful to be able to store that information uh, that the AI can see the player. So, But when we open up the behavior tree, and I'm looking around for uh, some kind of variable that I can use to store that state, and it doesn't seem to have anything. Uh, and the reason is what we need to use is a thing called a blackboard. Now, this is a little bit overcomplicated, you might think, or certainly I think. Uh, but one of the things that can happen is that you can get uh, a whole group of AI to share a blackboard. So they share one piece of information between them. So this might be useful, for example, if you've got some kind of um, infiltration game uh, where the player sneaking around and uh, coming into some secure facility and there might be uh, some setting that will say that the um, the guards are on high alert and they all share this uh, information between them so a blackboard is a way of uh, keeping variables but also in such a way that it isn't uh, necessarily instanced uh, so that more than one instance can have access to the same variables so what I'm going to do is show you how to create a blackboard. We're not going to use it in this video. It's just the, the basics of creation. So I'm just going to minimize that. And a blackboard, like many other things in Unreal, is an asset. So if we go to the artificial intelligence section here, you can see blackboard here. And it looks a bit like a, a school blackboard. Uh, so I'm going to create that, and I'm going to call it STLK underscore blackboard. And what did we want to store? We wanted to keep this information uh, whether the AI can see the player or not. So the variables that are kept in a blackboard are called keys. And uh, it's automatically got one here, which is self-actor. So that's a, a reference to the actual AI character, the pawn that's being controlled. Um, but... That's not what we want. We want a Boolean variable, which is can see player. 
and we'll just save that so that it's got it in there. So, can see player, um, it's got we can have instant synced, there's various things we can have here. There's parents, I'm not really sure what that does. We've got the name, and we can have a description if we want. Um, we're not going to do anything fancy with that, we're just going to close that down. And the next thing to do is we need to tell our behavior tree which blackboard it's going to be using. Uh, so over here in the details, if we open up the AI here, it's got a, a behavior tree thing, and it's got one of these classic drop-down boxes that you've uh, seen in other places in Unreal, and it's looking for blackboard assets. We've only got one, so we'll stick that in there. Um, and now you may have noticed that this blackboard button up here has uh, become active. So if I click on that, it actually goes into the editor for the blackboard itself. And then we can go back and forth between the behavior tree and the blackboard. That blackboard will edit. It's not specific to this behavior tree. It will edit the blackboard if it's used by more than one uh, behavior tree. Those uh, edits will affect all of them. Okay, so we're, we've got the variable. We're not actually going to use it yet. We're going to see that in the next video. So that's it from me for now.